Hello and welcome to another free tutorial video brought to you by emailmarketinghelp.org. Today we're going to take a look at one shopping cart. There's obviously loads to do in the back end here, but we're going to start nice and simple by adding your first product. So you need to just go to products tab and add a product. The first thing you're going to want to do is the name. So if it's a physical product, this should come easy, or if it's a service, for example, um, you know, SEO, let's say you're doing search engine optimization, and you have a $2,000 package. You can do a SKU if you'd like, and then you set the price. And you can put it on sale if you want. You can always change this item. If you have categories defined, you can assign it to a category, but then you can hit continue. And then what you'll get is additional options. You can do discounts and options. You can edit, you know, if, if you have quantity discounts, something like that. You know, if they buy 10, you get 10% off. Here's where you do that. You can specify your shipping charges here if you have a flat, a flat rate shipping or if you have a shipping weight that you want to put in for calculations. You can also set your taxes amount here. You can apply sales tax um, or county tax or country tax, I'm sorry. And the product links, this is the uh, links that you're going to want to use if you have an image or something like that, or if you want to do a link. So basically, uh, you can have a two-step or a one-step uh, checkout. This is something people want to test. I find that the one-step checkout makes more sense, but they give you two links. One is just a direct link, okay, like the URL of the page. This would be if you wanted to email somebody a payment link or something like that. Uh, you could do that. Just to show you what that looks like. Remember we set the price to be $2,000. And you can customize these landing pages too now. So if we go to that, there it is. It's already set up for $2,000. They can come in and they can pay for it and done. It's that easy. Uh, if you want to attach it to an image, Okay, or something like that on your website. Here's a link you use for that. href, and then it just has that. So this is a hyperlink for your website. Um, there's some additional optional values, upsells. Okay, so a feature product, related products, things like that. This is huge if you want to do cross-selling. Here's also where you can attach an autoresponder. So when you have, auto, let's say, any good product, you should have at least a couple of messages built out in an autoresponder, and that's why one shopping cart is so great. You can attach an autoresponder right to it, and that way when they buy it, they're automatically enrolled. Maybe you want to sell them additional products, extended warranties, things like that. You can set up your affiliates, reoccurring options, so if it's a subscription, if it's a digital product, uh, you can sit, click Yes, and then simply upload the file so they can download it right away. So if it's an ebook or a music file or something like that. And you can do your navigation and your product layout here as well. Top HTML for cart contents and bottom HTML. Now this is on this page, you'll see it just says indie results. That's my our parent company. But if you want like images and things to show up below this, that's where you edit that. So that's how you create a product in, in one shopping cart. Nice, safe, and easy. You don't need to specify all these optional values, but they're what help you make more money per sale. Uh, we use it just in the service industry. Basically, when we have a new client come on, we send out a, a link for them to go pay. But if, you're, if you have a full store and you want to have loads of products and lots of different autoresponders, what one shopping cart can do that. So that's how you create a product, and uh, we'll go through a lot more lessons later. Thanks, and I hope this helped. Remember to stop by our website at emailmarketinghelp.org to get even more help.